Hey guys, it's me, Jay Dill. Yes, most unreliable person in the fucking world. If you want to know what the fuck happened to me, check out my vlog channel. But I'm back, I'm okay, I've got a new perspective, I feel happy and healthy, but I'm still fat. But yeah, okay, so hello to all my old and new subscribers. It's good to be in front of the camera. When you see too many videos of me behind the camera, then you know there's been issues. Because I prefer to be in front of the camera. Okay, so I'm back. Happy New Year, guys. Thanks for all your loyalty. Um, and, yeah. Check out my other channel. Links in the description below. Okay, so let's get fucking into it. So what I want to talk about today is Thomas Mayer. Now, if you don't know who Thomas Mayer is, he got found guilty of the murder of Joe Cox. Now, this happened back in November. He got found guilty. And... I was too fucked up to kind of like make a video about it so I'm making it now a little later. Now one of the most concerning things about this trial and the murder of Joe Cox is that when Thomas Mayer, and I did touch upon it in a previous video, when he first went to trial he actually refused to enter a plea. He didn't say anything. Now there were some media reports that he shouted Britain first in the courtroom but it's basically been disproven but he said nothing which is quite unusual. He just said nothing. He didn't enter a plea. So there's that. Now the second thing is we were shown a picture of, of him after the murder took place. This picture right here, the picture of him in a cap, um, in a kind of garden, um, doing some kind of community gardening picture. You'll notice he has a nose which kind of goes a bit wonky to the side. Um, you know, that's what he looks like. So we were shown that picture all day long after the murder of Thomas of Joe Cox. So as soon as Joe Cox got murdered, this is the picture right up here right now that we constantly saw. We constantly saw this. Now skip ahead a few months, fast forward, and we're seeing this picture. And I remember sitting there, stoned out of my brain, far too high, thinking, "What the fuck? This is a complete different man. This what?" Why? How? This is a complete different man. Seriously? What? They have the cheek to show us two different photos. This isn't the same man. Now, I'm just looking at the picture now and uh, clearly he's grown some facial hair. So we can say, you know, growing facial hair. But one thing I do want you to observe is one on the outside, it just, it doesn't look like him, but it's his nose. So in this photo, this person has a nose which has a straight bridge. In this photo that we originally shown, this person doesn't have a straight bridge and their nose goes wonky to the side. This person's nose goes straight down. And yes, they have the same mole that is there, but maybe they, but maybe they picked, you know, when it comes to a mole, you can put a mole anywhere. I could even put a mole on and say I have a mole. You know, it's not, it's very easy to do, but it's a complete different person. Now, one thing we also must notice is that Thomas Mayer was, did have tattoos. He, you know, whoever this person is, personally, I think, I'll tell you what I think about all this at the end, but Thomas Mayer was depicted as having tattoos. Now, if we see this picture from the Telegraph up here right now, you will see that underneath there, he has some tattoos. Now, in the pictures where he was arrested, it was all very odd. We didn't see his face. It was like he had, to be honest, it looked like... It looked like tights were over his head or some kind of spit mask, but we couldn't see his face. There was something over his face. And when you, uh, you know, with anybody of any colour, when you put something over their face, you you, can't, you just can't identify them. So there's that. Where, where did his tattoos go? What, his tattoos just magically disappeared? So we have this picture with the tattoos and then this one... What the fuck? I'm just like, what? How? What the hell's going on? This isn't the same man. Do they think we're foolish? They've got another picture of a different man. This is not the same person. For a start, there's no tattoos. 
The picture we were shown in the beginning, his facial features have completely changed. I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? So those are one of the main reasons that I, 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 some, I, I smell a rat. I believe, I don't actually know who the real Thomas Mayer is because we were led to believe it was this person. And now we've been shown this person. And then there was this person. So we have three different images of a different man. They created Thomas Mayer. They created this person. Because to be honest, this person isn't even real. What do I think? I think this murder happened. But I don't think it was Thomas Mayer. I think it was a conspiracy. I think it was a plot to kill her, to cement the anti-Brexit argument. Now, the, the issue here, and the thing I'm struggling to get my head around, which I didn't place the dots before, is that I don't think there is a, such a person as Thomas Mayer. There isn't Thomas Mayer. There isn't a Thomas Mayer. They've made this mat, this name up. They've used various different pictures of different people. And I don't even think the trial even happened. I don't even think there's somebody in a cell. Because it's too much work to frame somebody and to get them to be totally disbelieved and to keep it like that. I don't even think there is anybody in prison. We are... We were in, and we are still in, a major psychological operation. This is what you call psychological warfare. A murder happened, but the establishment didn't. And now they've created this character, Thomas Mayer. Supported by the fact there's no real pictures, pictures of Thomas Mayer. There's no real evidence of Thomas Mayer. We were led to believe this man shouted out Britain first. It was disproven. He did not shout out Britain first. We were led to believe that he made the gun himself. What a scary picture they're painting. Now, 17 years ago, the exact same murder happened with a Swedish MP who was, who was lobbying for Sweden to come out of the European Union. The exact same murder with the exact same motive the only difference is the the movement won, the anti-European Union movement won, and the Swede exit, as we call it, didn't happen. Now, because now theory two, Thomas Mayer is a real person, a poor man who has been framed. I can't get my head around that, and I don't think that has happened. Not this time. They did that with John F. Kennedy. But this hasn't happened this time. Thomas Mayer is not real. And it is psychological warfare. Open your eyes and don't fall for the bullshit. The establishment killed poor, that poor lady. Not Thomas Mayer. Thomas Mayer doesn't even exist. Now, thank you very much for watching this video. As per usual, please let me know what you think down below. Now, my videos will be, there is a new upload schedule that I'm going to stick to. My new videos will be every Monday and Friday. So tune in for those and sometimes more. Let me know what you think in the comments below.